you've written beautifully about these quirks of the human brain, right? That it's constantly making shortcuts because we just don't have the glucose. We don't have the energy. We don't have the time to be thinking everything through down to the last detail. So we have to make little cognitive shortcuts, rules of thumb to get us through our day. And for the most part, these work great. But every now and again, they get us into a little bit of trouble. And sometimes it's fun trouble, right? So that's the basis of some jokes. Some of these jokes depend on tempting the listener into making a certain kind of mistake. So what's an example of such a joke? Well, one of Mike's, it's not a particularly funny joke, but it's a good example, which is the pot is in the kitchen cabinet. Don't smoke it all at once. This is an example of a garden path joke or as Americans say, garden path, yeah. <laughs> a joke. Um, what you're doing is you're tempting the listener to think that you're saying a particular thing. Well, the pot is in the kitchen cabinet. If it's the kitchen cabinet, it must be some kind of utensil. But then, haha, the joke's on you. Obviously, that's not what it was in the, in the first place. So, so this is a case where you're um, exploiting a certain tendency on the part of the, the brain, which is to kind of you know, project out into the future, to predict things, to fill things in when they're not fully given to you, which we need in our daily lives. Exactly. The brain, the brain, of course, is a prediction machine, and that's because the world is so complex. And really, the art of growing up and the job of brain plasticity is to say, ah, okay, this is the likely next token, as we would phrase it now in the age of LLMs, but it's to say this is the likely thing that's going to happen next. Yeah. You have you have a good example of a joke in that in that vein, the doctor joke. Oh yeah, I heard that from a comedian a long time ago. He said, "I went to the doctor, and the doctor said, okay, take off your clothes and put them there in the corner next to mine.'" There you go. And the reason it works as a joke is because we have an internal model of the world, and all that language ever is, is throwing small bits of data over the transom. And we say, oh, I got it. I've got this word. I've got the next word. Great. I can put together this very rich model of what's going on. So we never expected that.